Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Steve from the Drunk Canuck Beer Review. Welcome. It's been quite some time before, um, quite some time since I've uploaded a video. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy couple of months. Uh, however, there's going to be a new schedule. I'm going to be uploading at least three beer reviews a month, so maybe, if not more, you know, depending on um, how much time I got on my hands uh, during the weekend. And uh, there's so much beer I, w I still want to try. And just to the, on that point, this is why I make these videos. I know I got like 20 odd subscribers, which I appreciate every single one of you. It's just I, I love beer. I love learning about beer. I love trying new beer, all different kinds of styles, anything I can get my hands on and just, you know, discover, you know what I mean? And I figure why not film it and um, show a few other people my opinion on the beer, just so you can kind of make a decision yourself if it's worth trying yourself or worth the buying. But yeah. That's my little spiel there. Today we're doing Crack Canoe, a premium light lager made by Moosehead. Um, I may have had this a few years back, but I was pretty drunk at a cottage, so I don't remember how it went. But, uh, yeah, that's why we're doing it today. It's Moosehead, Crack Canoe, 3.5% alcohol, so this is going to be a really light beer. Um, I've heard that it's basically like a watered-down Moosehead, which makes sense, but... Yeah, it's three and a half percent alcohol. Uh, what else do we have here? I'll read this for you. And apologize for the washing machine and laundry room fucking set up, but I'm gonna have a few buddies by uh, doing a few reviews with me, and we can have someone holding the camera, and it can be a little more entertaining than just looking at a beer can on my washing machine. Um, but yeah, that's what I got using my iPhone 10. I don't have a tripod for it, and just it's you know shit's been crazy. Anywho, back to the beer. Cracked Canoe is Moosehead Brewery's premium light lager that is uniquely brewed to create a full body taste, light on alcohol, full on flavor. We'll see about that. Uh, what else does it say here? Fiercely independent. It is made in St. John, New Brunswick. Moosehead Breweries. So let's try it out. All right, let's try this out so you guys can see me pouring it. You can make your own conclusions of what you think it's going to be like. If it's going to be any good or not. A lot of carbonation. Get the iPhone to focus there. There we are. So yeah, a lot of carbonation. It looks really, really light. Just by looking at it, it's I can already I already kind of have an idea how it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna smell it from the can and smell it from the glass. Okay, it's not in a bottle, but it smells skunky. I don't know if that's just the hops. I don't know what that always is. I always assume, um, like I know obviously beer has hops, and some beers are more hoppy than others. But when it comes to Moosehead and like even Sleemans, they have this clear bottle and every time you leave it in the sun or in there's, where there's a light around, it'll get skunky or extra skunky. So it's kind of odd being in a can while it has that same aroma. I doubt there's a lot of hops in this beer. It's like, look at it. Well, let's smell it from the glass. Um, I, I, I pick up corn and skunkiness, which is odd from a three and a half percent alcohol a beer. I, I doubt they used a ton of hops in that to make this beer. What do I know? I'm not a beer expert, but for my conclusion, this is a watered down Moosehead. It smells like Moosehead just trickled down to what it is, right? Let's get that in the frame for you. But yeah, let's try it out. Cheers. Whoa. Yeah, it's basically moose head. Really watered down, obviously. It's three and a half percent alcohol, it's like 90 calories. Um, it is refreshing, I'll give them that, because I was thirsty, that's why I'm like, fuck, I might as well do a beer review, right? Because I wanted to try this beer. It's refreshing, I'll give them that. But um, there's not much flavor, it's just corn bit of that skunkiness you get that aroma when it's hitting your like you're putting the glass up to your nose it's basically like corn and like bubbly water 
like Perrier of water or whatever, fucking Nestle uh, carbonated water. That's basically what it tastes like. It's very, very faint on flavor, even though they claim, uh, where was it here? Full body taste. Um, I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that, Moosehead. Now the regular Moosehead, uh, you know, I, I got no complaints with, it is what it is, but this is, yeah. I can see this being like, I guess like a summer beer if you're at the beach or whatever and you wanna drink a bunch of these and you know, you're not gonna get fucking hammered off of it because it's three and a half percent alcohol. I can see that that direction of the market and I can also see the people that are watching their weight and they're trying to watch their carbs and all that good stuff. Um, but, you know, I always have those debates with my friends. I'm like, listen, if you're gonna be watching uh, how many carbs you have with a beer, like why have beer then? I ha either have a regular beer or don't drink it at all. That's just my two cents. Um, and this was expensive for what it is. It was like fucking uh, 290 or something like that. 280, whatever, which, you know, it's not fucking expensive. But for what it is, like for being a, uh, a beer, I would expect like a good craft beer for starting at that price, but not corn water. <laughs> That's all it really is. <clears throat> is it a bad? Is it offensive? Is it like you can't drink it? No, not at all. It's not offensive at all. There's nothing horrible about it that you would never want to drink it if you got it offered to you. But as a consumer buying this for the fact of buying beer, eh, no. Like I said, if you're on a diet, if you're watching your carbs, your calories, fair enough, but yeah, I, I, I wouldn't buy this again, especially for the price, you know, yeah, that's just my two cents. Um, I don't know, yeah, I mean like, I'm trying to think another uh, of another avenue to wanna buy a case of this beer, and I was thinking like, <clears throat> Say you're up on, on vacation at the cottage or something and you want something that's refreshing and cool and you can drink like six or 12 of them and you won't get drunk. Okay, that's cool. I can see you going that route, but as a standalone light beer, no. So overall rating, I'm gonna give it a 375, maybe 3.8 out of 10, just because it's not offensive. It is smooth, it is refreshing, but as a beer, this is like corn water or corn with bubbly water and a tiny bit of skunkiness and it's nothing special. But let's chug her down. Anyways, 3.8 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.